Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode of Who's That Anime with your host Stephen Colin talking about that show that we love to talk about at this moment in time. It's Gantz. That That's the one. Gantz. That's the one. Gantz. Woo. Nothing left for me to do but Gantz. Okay, that's the episode title. Done. Okay. That was fast. It's always fast for these ones, man. <laughs> Because anything that rhymes with guns. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing left for me to do but gants. That's the uh that's a uh, can heat by Demir Quay, isn't it? <laughs> um nothing left me but dance. Yeah, probably, yeah. Nothing left for me to do but dance. Got can't heat in my heels tonight. Classic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have uh, taken note of that. Pretty happy with that. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. More Gantz. More Gantz. More it, Gantz. I think um, we we talked about this before, about like the... Uh, mm -hmm. I, I guess like the, the, the kind of unnecessary part of a lot of the episodes. Um, and like it does... I, I guess like it does it... I say it's unnecessary. I, I probably it's probably not fair. I feel like it's tr it's trying to paint a very critical picture and sort of just overtly visualize like the shittiness of people's behavior or the kind of sadder parts of the world and how terrible mm -hmm. things are in some cases. Yeah. Um. So it's not unnecessary. It just <laughs> seems unnecessary sometimes. But uh. With the next set of episodes, today we're talking about uh, episodes twenty uh, or nineteen and twenty. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, which is interesting because the we start off with the episode, "What the hell is this?" Um, mm -hmm. Now, we were previously in the uh, Buddhist temple area, mm -hmm. where yeah. I think we had uh, we had managed to to deal with some of them. Yeah, uh, but then, then the really bad reboot-looking 3D model one appeared. Um, yes, uh, and um, oh, along with friends. Oh, uh, many, many, many friends. Um, yep. To which uh, Karate Man and other dudes who weren't wearing suits were like, "We got this." Yeah, he says, "Jesus." He he, he does a lot of uh, English speaking. Yeah. I'm pretty sure at some at some point in these episodes he shouts. He goes, he, he says, "Kato, we got this," or something like, that. "Yeah, thumbs up, man." <laughs> um, but yeah, so this this kind of the start of this episode basically reiterates that is that there's there's a bunch of smaller ones, and uh, and things are about to about to kick off again after what was initially a difficult fight against two larger statues. We now have probably upwards of 10 um, smaller statues mm -hmm. all causing a little bit of havoc. Mm -hmm. um, of course, as if that wasn't difficult enough, um, well, let's let's just add more to the equation. Um, mm -hmm. So, the smaller ones, they just won't do. No, no. Uh, yeah, so we, have starts... to go, we have to go bigger. Yeah. <laughs> They start off with that, and then they're beating them up. Now the little guys are doing the thing, and then all of a sudden, at the temple door, they're they're standing up. A big head bursts through, and they go, "Whoa! What the hell is that? <laughs> what what the hell is this?" <laughs> yeah, as uh, as titled by the episode. <laughs> yeah, and then Karate Guy goes, "Oh, that's uh, that's a really big uh, Japanese Daiba Daibutsu. Daibutsu. Yeah, and then, and then whoever he's with is like. That's really. That's not really the time for this, mate. Yeah, this is this is not the reaction that's required. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Fair point to be to be honest, though. Um, so yeah, then they kind of uh, split up into different strike teams to deal yeah. with the problem. Um, uh, so they start by did they they start by trying to shoot the. The, we see them try to attack the big one. I think is it mainly the suit people who are dealing with the big one? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the kind of little guys are beating up the other ones. Yeah. This big one there. And then Kay is like, I got this. I'll do it. And then he runs up and shoots him in the foot. And it's like, <laughs> uh, yoink. And just puts him across the courtyard. Yeah. It doesn't seem to do very much in the way of damage, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and then, so maybe there's going to have to be another another plan to do it. Um, yeah. Uh, is it at this point we cut to the taxi ride? <laughs> Which seems really weirdly impromptu. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's uh, this random taxi ride happening. And they're... It's like looking at the radio station. And yeah. there's a conversation going on. And it's just the, the frequency on the radio station is changing. And uh, about, oh yeah, no, why? Don't do that. And then so stop the taxi. So they stop the taxi. She gets out, and then she kicks out with the star dude. And it's like, you didn't. I just wanted the taxi to stop. You didn't have to come with me. Like things, but I don't want this affair to continue any longer. I'm breaking up with you. I, what do you mean? I like the fact that they're having an affair, and yet <laughs> when she asks him to stop the cab, so he's a teacher as well, who drives yeah. a cab by night, I assume. No, I think. Uh, th I think. They're both in the Is back that... of the taxi. Are they? Okay. Yeah. I was so confused because I was so sure that he <laughs> she was having an affair with the taxi driver. I, I was so lost. Well, well she, she's the taxi driver. She'd be, dri she be getting out of the car on the right side of the road. But she fan drives oh, on the same side yeah. of the road as Yeah, us. yeah, so they do. As British people, Scottish people. Yeah, so I, I was like, it's really weird that she calls the person she's having an affair with driver. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but I guess that that makes more sense. I'm yeah, glad you're here. Yeah, uh, I'm here to explain it all, Steve. It's Colin, thank you. Colin explains it all. Do 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 do. Remember that show? <laughs> Clarissa explains it all. Oh yeah. Da 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 da. What's her name? Uh, Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah, and she was Sabrina too, right? She was. Sabrina, in my opinion, a significantly better show. Yeah. Yeah, I just remember both of them. Like, yeah. Uh, not the new Sabrina. It's on Netflix, but the really old one. They had like yeah. the really dirty seal in the cat. He, he was great. He called Friday Fridia. Friday Fridia. Fridia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, good old... And then it went weird on Netflix. Oh, I haven't watched The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Because it was not a kid's sitcom. It, well, it was not a kid's a kid's show in the slightest. <laughs> no. So... No, well, anyway, back to that. Uh... So, uh, we should say, we, we've seen this woman before. Uh, yeah. Well, it, it is it, pointed out by Kate. It is pointed out. By K as well, but yeah, I, d I did think that I was looking at her and I was like, I'm sure I know who this is. Oh, I was like, oh, that's all random women. And then K <laughs> says, oh, that's my homeroom teacher. I was like, what's she doing like, here? Oh, of course it's her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, <laughs> of course, the, the big statue is now kind of stood up and walking, and yep. they don't see any of this, so they kind of no, walk around with it. They just decide to have a little saunter underneath the foot. Yeah. And it's about uh, to come crashing down. Then three of them, of the suit people, go and kind of like charge in and uh, yeah. hold up as they have an argument saying, yeah, I'm getting cold feet about this, mate. Uh, well, we should break up because, like, you know, it'll be bad. And she's like, yeah, okay, I'm breaking up with you, though. I'm putting that in. I'm breaking up with you, not you breaking up with me. Because that's how these things always go, like, with breakups, right? And, and then... Uh, they start to have a little bit of a panic because the ground starts cracking underneath them. Yeah. They're like, oh, something very unusual is happening here. We should get out of here. Yeah. Uh, like four, four pillars is this uh, kind of getting pressed into the ground underneath them. Yeah. Oh, because uh, Sadako uh, joins in and helps. To yeah. which uh, movie star man's like, oh, I've never seen your face before. It's quite nice. Yeah. You're very pretty. Anyway, uh, back to back to us being about to be crushed because we can't <laughs> seem to hold this foot for any longer. Yeah, uh, they, they, and then they do. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. I was half expecting just to be standing in the dirt. Yeah, like just pushed straight down. Yeah. Yeah. So me too. But they were. Me too. No, I I did think it was really weird though, because <laughs> Kato gets up and he's like, "Hey, you all right?" It's like, "What? No, but why are you all right? <laughs> why? Why? Why is this fine? Surely <laughs> your heads would have at least exploded or something." Nope. Well, everyone was fine. They had the arms above the head. See, so that had mm. suit. <laughs> yeah. Well, they they try. Uh. I have no idea. <laughs> this it just haven't happened. Uh, then, then Kay decides it's 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 time to like, you know, get back to it. Yeah, not before Army Man is. Uh, oh God, him possessed or something. Yeah, he like. Well, he's lost his goddamn mind. Oh it's yeah, like one one of these things is like literally crawling away for its life. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like um, and it starts, it starts. Uh, mumbling something about it. it's like oh you know like about the evil and please uh, understand <laughs> and he's like oh um, but what if I just shot you <laughs> no no it, it was more like I have the power to end your life whenever but I'll just maybe maybe I won't like, yeah and let you just suffer in pain but then he yeah. just shoot, shoot him and then all the blood from it turns into big has, eyes has eyes yeah and it's, he's uh, in the pile of blood, and then we're the that. Then he's wearing a blood suit covered in eyes. <laughs> yeah, and then so he wanders into the fray as their he, he does. He just kind of goes. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but um, no. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Key Key gets into it again, and then it's picked up. And like, oh, yes. shit, shoot the feet. And, and he's getting they're, they're all crushed real bad. They're all uh, um, down to beetle with. And then they just, just get blasting. <laughs> they, sh they sure do. Um, <laughs> that is one thing, actually. I think most of the other guys have, like, killed all of the other smaller ones, except mm -hmm. one that was very fast that they couldn't seem to. That's right. He's the one that killed the dog. Yeah, is that is that in this episode or in the next one? No, I think it's this episode, right? It is this episode? I think it was this episode because it appears and the dog gets it, and they're like, "Oh, the yeah, dog!" Yeah, because yeah. he goes, "Holy shit!" He killed the dog. Yeah. because uh, so we were talking a little bit before we we started the the episode today. It's like mm -hmm. I I have a theory about the dog thing. Okay. Because like. I think up until now, like, we've had a fairly, because like over this episode of the next one, sh shit's about to get really bad. Yeah, 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 really bad. Yep. Um, and I think the dog is the inflection point. It's the message uh -huh. to the to the watcher saying is like, hey, uh, you know how like the dog just kind of always naturally came back. Well, even the dog's dead this time. So, yeah. all bets are off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe it was the next episode. I can't remember. You know, right. I, well, I, the thing is, it's like stuff, uh, it maybe is, but like, you know, we, we can get into that, but stuff kind of, things start to go south from that moment. Um, yeah. And, and then, yeah, the K has, while he's been grabbed, has managed to shoot his way out of the, the hand and mm. I think puts a puts like a shot right in the middle of its head to which makes it very angry um, yeah it, it gets pretty pissed uh, and this is when that dude, the army dude, sort of like haphazardly wanders his way back through going like, uh, the eyes yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and, it, and it gets picked up and then just eaten yeah it, like it totally attack on titans him yeah <laughs> Picks him up and then bites his head off. It's wild. It's super wild. Um, and then this is why where Kay is like, "Fuck this shit," and he just like, yeah, leaps into the the hole I like, made in the head. Yeah, he human torpedoes his way <laughs> through the bull's eye on its forehead, yeah. and then the big 
giant Daibutsu just kind of goes like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Falls over. It's just like, and everyone's like, the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> is he dead? Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then and then he just puts the, the, himself out the mouth, I think, through a tooth or something. Yeah. He, just, he kicks his way through the through the front. <laughs> he kicks his teeth out. Yeah, yeah. So I'm here, uh, and then I think that's the end of the episode, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think so. Uh, 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 uh. Where are we? Just to double check. Uh, Sniper dude was actually yeah. people. Uh-huh. Sniper dude was like, he was like picking them off and going, one, two, two. three. <laughs> yeah. uh, he, uh, he, uh, he did that one good. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think that is the end of the episode. Because um, then, uh, yeah, like, I, yeah, because I was going to say the next episode starts off with them sort of regrouping and, and being like, okay. We we still have obviously we're still here, so there's yeah. more stuff to kill. Um I think it's Hojo has the tracker anyway. Does, yeah. So uh how do you rate this episode? One, because the dog died. No. <laughs> that was pretty good. It was like, okay. Okay, it wasn't yeah. anything. Didn't there was a few flashbacks, mainly just to like Kay's childhood, I think. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the same, the same Carol, flashbacks. The same flashback <laughs> that they've been yeah. waiting for the last thing, but at least they didn't go to yep. the sex scene flashback. Uh, true, true, true. Relationship between uh, Kei and Kishimoto. Uh, yeah. Or, or sorry, Say. Say, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is a bit more consummated at this point. I mean,. Uh, I think the thing about this episode for me is it's the first one where like they, they've struggled of course like you've seen it yeah. in every episode where they've been but this is like it seems like things are bad like things are mm. going unexpectedly like uh, no, n- nothing seems to be even remotely easy so yeah. uh, obviously like the two at the start were bad enough. Then the large group of them were difficult. Then the big one, and you know, the, like say at the start of the next episode, the realization that there's still more to deal with. There are two red masses still on the map that need to be dealt with. Um, yeah, as so, yeah, that's next episode. Is that? Um, I don't know. I wasn't put off by it. No. As much as the rest of so at this point the dog's dead. Very disappointing. You can take marks off for that. He's the best character. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) You can't really go wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Except maybe the the bit where he like likes to lick. um... Yeah, that's that's not great. But you know, he's Uh, a he's a dog. He's a dog, yeah. We'll let him off in that one. Not his fault. <laughs> no. No. Well. It's a bit. Anyway, uh, yeah. seven, seven-ish, eight-ish. Yeah, I, I think this is one of the first ones that ups into like an eight for me, where yeah. it's we're starting to see the complexity of circumstances and, you know, I, I think... There doesn't seem to be much of a question about people trying to save others and things like that as well. Like people are, they are even K. Like, despite being in his like the zone of I must murder, is uh you know still focused on making sure that other people survive. So yeah, like it's 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 pretty good. And yeah, he, he kicks the teeth from the inside out of the giant and and wanders <laughs> through. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I guess that moves us naturally onto episode twenty, which is called "Shoot Me." Um, oh yeah, this is where they they split into their disparate groups. Mm-hmm. Uh, the non-suits go with Hojo and Sadako, 
and uh, say Kishimoto, K and Sato, uh, Kato, all go in the other direction. Mm-hmm. Um, as I mentioned about the dog being sort of the harbinger of change, um, <laughs> we're about to experience that in yeah. in spades. Um, so this episode there... is fucking wild. Yeah. Is it this one or is it the next one? It's anyway. There's a lot of sappiness in it, and a lot of like stuff, and a lot of foreshadowing. It's just the good old. Uh, uh, I found a new thing that I want to do. Type thing. It's like you know all those quality action movies where you're talking to the guy. And it's like yeah. yeah, I can't wait to go home and be with <laughs> my wife. Five minutes away from <laughs> retirement. Yeah. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was broadcasting that uh, in spades in this one. If it's oh, this yeah. one or the next one. I can't remember when it ends. That's I mean, this ends. one ends with literally the bit with shoot me. Oh, does it? Yeah. This ends on that <gasps> note. Oh. Does it? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I was thinking he was saying that. Anyway, right. Let's get into it. So, yeah, yeah so they're, they're, they're yeah, breaking yeah. away. Uh, yeah. Because they've got the two red dots, that, like you said. they got half an hour yeah. still on their hour yes. and a half mission. Um, the fast uh, statue that appeared and killed the dog. And killed the dog. Didn't it manage to disappear, escape them all for some, some reason? Disappeared? So the, the yeah. So the suits go after him to yeah. find him. Well, the other lot go into uh, uh, another temple. Yes, on the grounds. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then find five more statues, I think. It's, yeah, the... it's four with a central one with multiple arms. Yeah, multiple kind of arms. And uh, they're like, oh, I'll just go and scan these and see what they are. And but we're, this is where... Um, Movie star boy and uh, his stalker, yeah. The ghost goes, Oh, yeah, can I, I see your face again? It's kind of she kind of just goes, kind of nice looking, like peers out from behind the wall, going like, Yeah, yeah. and then she seems to have a bit more confidence. It's certainly still kind of sadical with the one side of her face covered with long hair, yep. Uh, uh-huh. and it, so they go in. Scan. It's definitely not long before they realise that uh, it's not just not just they think it's like hey probably the one in the middle right no nope. turns out all of them yeah. all of them are a problem oh man yeah they got the cry guy in there <laughs> well, he's he Hojo is like okay guys stay back those without suits and he's like absolutely not yeah I can oh. fix this oh yeah. Well, they they start gibbering randomness. It's not even they, any words. They do, yeah. Like it's. That's it, 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 Yeah, chanting. they're like chanting in yeah. like in like tongues. It's really, really disconcerting. Um, yeah, not disconcerting as um, Crackman is trying to go up to against ones, and they're like, "Oh, he he took them out with his bare hands earlier, so yeah, he can do he, this. He did quite well." And uh, uh, of course, he starts punching it, uh, and it's just like, "Nope, nope." nope. Nope. nope, and catching his fists, um, and, then, and then breaks his breaks his wrist. Oh my sh- god! In in the fucking nastiest, brutalist way. <laughs> yeah. Hold hold his hand now. Into the side. <laughs> yeah, just punches the entirety of that part of his <laughs> wrist out. <laughs> and it, it just I, like I remember watching it and being like, "Oh my god, this is the beginning. It's all about <laughs> to start." Um. And then you're like, oh no, he's, uh, and then he, he he's like, you know what, I don't need that hand. And then just headbutts it, <laughs> charges it over, and you're like, okay, maybe he's still got something left. Um, then, but then uh, another one comes in. A split second, he gets like a fucking kick, he gets a kick to his head, and his neck stretches like three meters, three feet oh my away God. from his body. And he's like, ah. It's like, it oh. full on, like, goes for like a goal kick. <laughs> like, yeah. just, yeah, that's flat. It's savage. He is to completely gone. Yeah, he's, he's, oh my god, he's gone. Um, 
So the other two kind of like, all right, guys, get behind us. We're going to deal with it because then they get surrounded. Yes, because they've got the they've got Sadako and uh, and Hojo, and then the two other guys, the two sort of non-suited guys. The Karate Man yeah. is now well and truly goosed. Yeah. He's done. <laughs> he's he's um, out. Uh, so they kind of just um, they look for a break and escape. Yeah, because they kind of like the other the four surround them, and yeah. uh, and Sadako I think it, like uh, takes a shot on one of their shoulders, and as it blows up, the two guys bail out. Yeah, yeah, um, leaving them to deal with it on their own, I guess. Um, well, they can't do anything about it until they get the suits. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Um, so then I think it cuts to basically the rest walking around the temple of, and they find the dead homeless people yes uh, which Kato is upset about <laughs> yeah it's like what's the fucking point <laughs> yeah it's like what, these what? bastards did this like yeah. what? what's why, wrong why? with the world Why? why should we care um and then Kay's like, "Yo, you want to, you're the one that wants to go home the most, right?" Oh yeah, I got to go and see, see my little brother. And uh, and then Ian Kay then remarks, "Like, I actually kind of long to come back here, but now, yeah. now I have a place to reason to go home now." Well, yeah. it's like, hey, it turns out um, I might have been wrong about this whole my life is murder thing. Yeah, um, <laughs> maybe maybe there's more to it than that. Like, yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe it is. Uh and there was like weird talk to each other, like say and sigh, and it's like, oh, are you dating a sigh? It's like, uh, yeah, we're gonna go for a car ride when we get out of here. Yeah, please thing. don't talk like that in front of Kishimoto. Please yeah, stop. Yeah, don't don't do that. <laughs> You're embarrassing uh, me. Yeah, uh, and then. Um, and both those uh, Kishimoto and Sai and kind of talking about things. Oh, yeah, I think what? this is what? where Kishimoto says, like she's. I think Sai says to her, "Is like, hey, you. Um, do, do, what, what's the deal with you two? It's like, uh, and she's like, oh, you know, I think I'm just on a different level to him. Yeah, and she. Abandon ship out of that conversation real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, nope, none of that, thanks. Yeah. Um, that's fine. So. Do, do they defeat. What's the. So they. Do they. Uh... Yeah, they, they, they come across the. The fast statue. And K Kato grabs it by the ankle. Um, possibly. Does he not get like flown up into the sky and then the sniper blows it up? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Sniper gets it. So he's like, cool, that's another one to my my count. Yeah. Um and so then they're they're all kind of recomposing themselves as the two other guys catch up and are like, hey, uh bad stuff. <laughs> you yeah. gotta you gotta help. Uh yeah. and they're like, oh shit. So they they make a run for it to the to the the, the, the temple mm -hmm. inside and uh we're met with i think it's it's basically a look of horror on all of their faces uh -huh. and then it cuts to hojo uh and sadako his stalker uh -huh. uh, kissing yeah you're like oh it's a weird cut we've got yeah. here and I was like oh no I wonder what happened to to Hojo he doesn't seem like too active and she's kind of giving him a kiss yeah um you know, I wonder what's going on and they're just looking pretty horrified and you're like uh -huh. oh shit <laughs> oh. what's uh what's going on here we're we're stalker got the kiss man yeah no, it's not that though no it's it's not that he's dead and she's like mourning him it's like no no they're both in half. Yeah. From their torso at the same level. Yeah. Oh my god. And their legs are like over here, and their torsos are over here. 
and then yeah. they just die and it's like what in the fuck is going on yeah yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> and kishimoto quite rightly has a bit of a breakdown <laughs> <laughs> yeah um all right so the end goal will start attacking the thing in the middle like with the statue with the arms yeah kato comes in with the uh the, the thing that teleports them away but it gets kicked out of his hand by another uh one of the other uh statues yeah. uh, and then i think k shoots it a couple of times directly to the head and it's like face crumples up yeah but then just like goes back to normal yeah and yeah. uh kato is basically left there holding a gun up to this yeah. statue going like well doesn't nothing seems to work uh -huh. um this seems bad yeah, and uh, then, then some green liquid is, is uh, thrown out. Why is uh, the phase it has? Like a, like a, yeah, like a little jug thing. Um, yeah, it has like a one of those board game dials that spins, and it's like acid. Uh, yeah, and then it sort of like throws it. Um, yeah. and Kishimoto is like, "Hey, we have to protect Kato." Yeah, um, and you're like, "Okay." Yeah, he's he's got to look after his little brother or something. Yeah, and you're like, oh, okay, like, okay, do 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 that. I and you're like, oh, but not not like that. Yeah, not yeah. like that. <laughs> I don't understand the scene. So she obviously like powers up for shit and runs really fast because yeah, she, the liquid's thrown, and, and then she Carol's runs. kind of froze froze in time. And she runs, picks up, it, and then hugs Carol and goes. Pushing him over, like, yeah. I mean, she's in a big suit. She could use it for strength and push not... to the side. Yeah, or like you know, not be there in that location when the thing hits. I mean, this this is Prometheus all over again. Um, <laughs> was it uh, run? Why are you running, running away from the giant ship in a straight line? Yeah. Um, like I, I think. Um, I don't know. Like, there's a, obviously like there's supposed to be some sort of symbolism to it, and it is that thing of like she is, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. She sees uh, Kay and Kato. Uh, like she loves both of them in very different ways, yeah. and you know her last thoughts are. Kay, I hope you understand, but I want to spend like, my last minutes with Kato, and you're like, okay. And so she's like, yep, this is it, because this is, this is, I'm here to make sure he can go home. And yeah. You're like, oh, fucking hell. All right. And then acid to the spine. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's that's it it pretty detailed. Was, uh, she was also going on about, like, uh, see, I'm, um, this feels good, like, Good girls, and then she's on about how she was cared about grades and stuff, yep. and and that yep. that's kind of like uh, kindergarten for yeah. It's uh, sort of like I now. guess like how what it feels like to do something truly good, yeah. Versus that perception of being good, at, like for just doing doing what's expected of you. Um, yeah. But yeah, she uh straight up like just sacrifices herself mm -hmm. and i like i remember it, like as it was happening i was like oh shit i forgot about this bit <laughs> um this this is again like we've we've watched the karate guy get absolutely obliterated mm -hmm. sadako and hojo are are dead yeah and now kishimoto's in half yeah and, like her her upper torso is just holding on to him mm -hmm. And as our legs just fall to the ground, it's like this is awful, Tr yeah. truly, truly awful. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, like, and that's he's of course like not quite with it for a little bit. <laughs> no, no. And uh, but Kay then... kind of like kicks back yeah. into action and yeah. Starts dealing with the other statues. Yeah, yeah, he's there. He's he gets in and um, starts 
trying to take on the, the big statue. Mm-hmm. Who... Until he loses an arm. Yeah. Holy <laughs> crap. And a leg. <laughs> the, yeah, his leg starts to be burned away by the acid and his hat, his arm just gets like cut off. Yeah, because it has a sword. Yeah, it just goes... <laughs> yeah, it has a really sharp sword. <laughs> that's, that's and then... Uh, says like... Uh, Sai's like, well, we have to get get him out. And Kato's like, yep, we have to go. We have to go. Can you pick him up? Like, we need to, well, it's not we like, need to move. It's not the next episode. No, no, no. no like, we, we get out of this... Uh, yeah. We get out of this room at this yeah. this temple. I um, suppose, yeah. All right, okay. So we get out. Uh, so they, they escape before anything bad happen, else happens. Uh, yep. The two guys who are in room four, they come back? Or is that next episode? That might be next episode, and we will get into that. But yeah. I think that the, the kind of prevailing thing is, is Kato gives Kishimoto a, a kiss and then lays her down gently. Mm-hmm. Sai picks up uh, K mm-hmm. off the ground and uh, it looks as though the, the thing's about to attack again, mm-hmm. but it doesn't. And she just bails out as quickly as possible. They run. Mm-hmm. I think the end of this this episode is him being laid down and them sort of using a tourniquet on his arm and leg to try and stop the, the bleeding. Yeah, but the acid's I think still going. The acid's still burning away his leg. Yeah. Um, and I think that... I'm pretty sure Kato says something like, you know, it's like, it's okay though, like, if we can finish this, mm-hmm. he'll, he'll come back to normal. Like, he'll come back whole. We just need him to stay alive exactly. long enough to finish this. Yeah, certainly it says that. Um, there was a tack. The tack missed. Because she dodged out the way. She jumps out the way just at the last second. You're right. That's yeah. that's right. She says, aha, not this time. And then run it- away. It doesn't. It doesn't attack again. It doesn't follow up while she's she's carrying him. Um, well, that's because she's already she jumped to the door at that point. Yeah. Um, so, but the end of this episode is uh, Kay basically saying to Kato, "Is like just, just shoot me." Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. I just, I kind of want this to be over. Yeah. Um, swings and roundabouts with him right now because. <laughs> Yeah. It's been, you know, oh, I'm a machine made to murder. Actually, I really want to go home. Please kill me. <laughs> <laughs> All within about an episode and a half. Good high to a low. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it kind of ends with that. I'm not sure it does. if those are going out at that point, but... No. I think he... Or maybe he is. He's pointing it at him, but he doesn't do anything. Um, yeah. He, d- he makes no decision, but K is... Obviously, uh, Sai or uh, Sakura Oko is very uh, upset at his decision that he doesn't even want to try. He's like, I just, <laughs> I just need you to end this for me. Yeah. Um, this is a crazy episode. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. It's it's getting getting uh, getting there. Yeah. What what do you uh what do you rate this one? Uh, I don't know. Maybe an eight. It's not, you know, it's it's pretty fun. Everything it's there. Uh, but I don't. I'm not going to write home about it. No, I I think um, the dog. I think that's fair. <laughs> the uh. I think I think it's a nine. I think like there are there are very few peaks I think that get better than this, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Like um, I don't think there's any episodes in Gantz that are like ten out of ten perfect. Um, yeah. But I think this, as far as it goes in terms of like emotional brevity and um, like the, the the actual impact and downfall, like because we're, we're you know we're not witnessing randoms mm-hmm. anymore. Like this is people who have been with this yeah. team for a little while now. You know who they are. It's not, oh, I appeared and now I'm dead, uh, yeah. sort of thing. 
um this is the this is probably like the first time where the deaths have felt uh as uh, prob- since the the kid and the grandmother i think this is the first time where it's like th- okay these have like a lot of a lot of weight to them um yeah. it feels rough like I, it, well uh, him and uh uh what's his name the crazy guy that died the kid oh uh nichi nichi like i like that that level of of sort of emotional impact cuz <laughs> there's someone who had the game figured out and mm-hmm. died it wasn't yeah. enough, um, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, the, obviously, like for other obvious reasons, the the grand and the the grandson was just a harsh reality of of what Gantz is, yeah. And then this one is just it, it, it's a it's a savaging of everything that you've come to recognize as a norm mm-hmm. about the series. Like if Kishimoto can die. If yeah. Hojo can die, if Sadako can die, uh-huh. we've got three other characters left. Like, what What could happen now? Oh, oh yeah, what could happen now? And I think that's that's mm. the thing, is just it's it's that kind of... All right, it, is a, it is a very much an, oh, of course, we, I, I do too. But it's, it's, an all <laughs> be, it's an all bets are off kind of moment where like like i say the dog is the kind of symbolization of things are about to go rough like that's that the end of the norm all right yeah um and kishimoto is we don't care who we kill we don't care like you anyone anyone could die this is just <laughs> you know how it is uh crazy yeah, yeah like i say I, I think it's i think it's a 9 out of 10 i i, I think the the deaths are all sort of um well handled for what they are i think the the kind of high emotions running through most of it like mm-hmm. people's just inability to cope with certain things um just rings very true at a certain point where yeah, I, yeah. why would you have anything left to give i mean do you feel like it's just wrapping it up real quick because of the it's coming to the end of the the season so I I think there is an element to that, but I think that there are ways that you can do that well. Like, mm-hmm. you know, spoilers for the TV show Angel from the early 2000s, but that show was going to get cancelled. So oh. they had, like, a period to wrap up everything. Yeah. And they they cleaned house with, like, <laughs> characters and stuff like that in the span of a couple of episodes. And it was crazy. It was, it was very but hand, handled well like i mean i think i think that's the thing it's it's very different to just like you know oh isn't that weird how nine of our characters died in like a house fire or something and that was it um good old plane it, crash into emmerdale farm yeah i, I was <laughs> it's like great gray's anatomy level so yeah we we needed to get rid of some people so we, we had a plane crash uh, uh or we had a boat crash uh-huh. or a hospital explosion or you know whatever um i think that this is this is better than that because the stakes have always been high in this way and it's just that you know i think it shows the i guess that the the severity of the circumstances like the odds of you actually coming back have never been high you've just you've you yes you've been able to impact your ability to do that Mm -hmm. but there's a lot of luck in this like you're not you're not just skilling your way out of this. Like yeah. <laughs> there are circumstances that have been lucky for you. Like in terms of your ability to leave. Be that people who have been cannon fodder and have afforded you the ability to escape or take control of circumstances or you know, figuring out your suit at the right points and things like that. These are not things that you're really truly taking control of. They're just happy accidents that have helped you survive. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, now it's a circumstance where you you kind of shit out of luck, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I think there are. We'll, we'll get into it in our, when we come back next, which I guess is a good point to say is, is you know, we've we've we're we're, we're done for today, it's, which mm-hmm. is a crazy crazy cliffhanger to get to. <laughs> um, but we're going to be back next week to talk about more Gans when we talk about episodes twenty one and twenty two. Um, 
I think that uh, not that the show gets worse. I think it very it kind of peaks around here. These are the bits where it really is at its best, um, mm. which is, you know, I, I think the I, I'm not particularly a fan of the way it paints the bleak picture of the world, um, mm. but that doesn't mean that I don't think it carries itself quite well in other aspects. And I think this is the this is where we actually see it do that. Like this is the these are the episodes where we see that it can handle some level of emotional maturity and it can handle some level of 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 character depth um beyond just isn't the world shit oh, yeah. um so yeah um you've been listening to who's that anime an anime podcast about anime um which can be found where all good podcasts can be found our home is at anchor.fm forward slash who's that anime I said anime a lot uh anime. if you want to support us anime anime you anime. can uh do that by giving us a review uh, if you've already left a review or can't leave a review, depending on where you listen to us, then another great way to support us is to tell a friend. Um, that's a really cool way. Uh, if you want to support us financially in some way, uh, you you can. We have a Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash who's that anime. Uh, there are a few different tiers there where you can get access, early access to episodes. Um, also including our, bon our kind of extra podcast, which is Five Minute Fusion, A Journey Through Dragon Ball. Um, we're actually nearly wrapping up uh, Dragon Ball will be moving on to Dragon Ball Z soon, which is crazy to think about. But you know, here we are. Um, but yeah, you can you can support us in a variety of different ways uh, through that too. Um, we have a Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash who's the anime. We post the latest episode releases there and the occasional meme. Uh, we have a Discord channel. You can find a link to that in the show notes. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel. Uh, if you Go to youtube.com forward slash at who's that anime. This is where Colin painstakingly puts together the video versions of these episodes. Mm -hmm. um, yep, you can find us there, an archive of everything, including the RSS feeds for both podcasts, if you like to listen to your podcasts on YouTube. Uh, Colin and I sometimes play video games. Uh, Colin at twitch.tv forward slash couchfuel and myself at twitch.tv forward slash hailpayman. And you can find archives for everything on those streams at youtube.com by searching for at couchfuel or at who's that anime. And that's us. Yeah, that's it. Done. No effort. Yep. In the bag. No effort done. Up gants. Oh. We're almost at the end, Colin. Almost at the end. Yeah. Well, time's ahead. Yeah, I'm curious how the end goes. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, it's certainly. Find out next time on who's that anime, on where this is going, because it's going to a place that you'll never guess. And it's not JR is alive because <laughs> of the a dream sequence. No, you're making me think of the Doctor Hibbert. Do you? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Pointing directly at camera. Yeah, <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. And then it turns around to someone and it goes, no. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Right, anyway. We'll see you next time. Catch you later. Bye, folks. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>